What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday over here. Bitcoin currently, as we speak, is at about 28.3K. It did have a huge pump earlier in the day. We're going to be taking a look into seeing what that means for Bitcoin, as well as a lot of the cryptos here, because it did bring up quite a bit of these altcoins. So very important to be paying attention to Bitcoin right now still, because if you are long in this market, first of all, you do want to see a daily candle close above that daily 200 SMA. And then we could be talking about some other bullish case scenarios that, be, that could be coming up for Bitcoin as well as the altcoins here. Of course, the main topic here will be about Loom Network. Also had a huge pump recently up to about 50 cents. We, let's take a look into what could potentially happen for Loom right now. Is it going to continue? What are the chances that it's going to continue? And what are some chances that it's going to continue pulling back? Okay. So we're going to be taking a look into some upside and downside price targets for Loom and some key price levels in order for this coin to break either direction. I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinions and what I am personally doing in this market later in this video. So make sure to be staying around for that. Of course, none of what I'm saying here is financial advice. It's purely my personal opinions and speculations. I could very much be wrong. I am not a financial advisor or an elite trader of any sorts, even though I am a profitable trader who has been able to keep most of my profits during the last bear markets. But I'm looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle. So if you guys feel the same way, if you guys are feeling pumped on this Monday morning, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into it. All right, so it is my first post of the day, and we're going to take a look into Bitcoin first because that is the, it is the most important thing I look at in this market, okay? Uh, because it is the driver of the entire crypto market. If Bitcoin goes up, chances are all coins are following. And if Bitcoin pulls back, it's going to drag quite a bit of these altcoins down with it. So very important to be paying attention to Bitcoin right now. Let's come over here to the weekly time frame uh, even. Okay, so been talking about this scenario for quite some time. This chart here. Uh, possible cup and handle, but Bitcoin does need to come back here to retest about 32K area. Okay, it is still staying away from this possible breakdown of this double top pattern on this weekly time frame neckline to be about 24.7k area it has been able to stay away from that so in those terms it still looks bullish right now in the weekly time frame let's come over here to the daily time frame here so i refreshed this chart because last time we spoke well yesterday we had a rising wedge right which usually break to the downside however bitcoin did make another attempt to actually break out of that rising wedge okay but the attempt still left us wondering what is really going on right we still have a rising channel here um that's probably validated on the hourly time frame i'm just looking for three candles um that's touching the upper trend line. So we have the second candle very close to touching the upper trend line here. Uh, I am going to consider this to be a rising channel, okay? Even though, um, you know, technically we don't have three candles touching the upper trend line, but the second candle on the hourly time frame there, very close. So it's either a uh, validated rising channel or it's still a developing rising channel, however you guys want to look at it. That's how I'm going to be considering it, okay? So rising channels still are bearish patterns, okay? The measurement here still works. If it still breaks down within the next couple of days, let's just say by next week, Monday of next week, we still get a measure target of about 23.8K area here, okay? Obviously, if it breaks down later, then we move the measurement higher, and that will give you a higher measure target of this breakdown. So very important to, first of all, at least close on top of this daily 200 SMA. 
which is at about 28K area, okay, you want to see this price action hold above the daily 200 SMA. The next, the next uh, resistance for Bitcoin to overcome would be the weekly 200 SMA, currently at about, I think it's at about still 28.2K. So it's actually driving away from 28K pretty slowly, okay? So that is going to be the next milestone for the bulls. And of course, then breaking above this rising channel. So I am going to be taking away some of these trend lines. Um, since price action has already broken out of them. Now, let's go ahead and go to uh, Loom Network. Okay. Let's see what has been happening here. Let's come to the weekly time frame here, uh, where we had a we had you know quite a few weeks of pumpage in Loom Network here. Okay, um, so price action went from about four cents, four point five cents, something like that. Okay, it basically ten x uh within a couple of weeks. What would the next move? be looking like for Loom Network here. So it is in very oversold territory, or at least it was uh, on the weekly time frame on this RSI here, about 95 on the RSI, okay? Now it's kind of uh, dropping back down to 81. Will there be another uh, pump here for Loom? Let's go ahead and take a look into the lower time frames here and see what kind of trading pattern it is forming so even come over here to the four hour time frame let's see if i can get uh any kind of pattern here so on this four hour time frame i think we have a small falling wedge here which you know personally i don't think um well, I mean, I'm not going to insert my opinion here, okay? So we have a very skinny falling wedge here, okay, on this four-hour time frame. Let's even come over here to the hourly time frame here, okay, where we have a, a, a better look at this falling wedge pattern. Falling wedges typically break to the upside, okay? Usually breaks to the upside, so the probability is in favor of the bulls, but it could, of course, still break down, okay? So let's see here, we got uh, one up, one down, two up. Yep, this is a validated uh, falling wedge pattern. Let me see if uh, I can get three candle wicks touching. There you go, all right. There you go, that's a more... Um... No, that's still not three candle wicks. Yeah, guys, I'm just gonna do this on the fly, so um, bear with me here. I'm going to consider this. I will consider this. I think this still works. Okay, so measure target. If this breaks back to the upside here, if it breaks back up to the upside, as, let's say at the end of this falling wedge pattern, because you know, it did get into very oversold territory. So that is something to be keeping in mind um, on the higher time frame as well. So that is uh, something to be keeping in mind. Loom Network. So if it breaks out at the end of this falling wedge here, you get a measure move of up to 42 cents area. Okay. Measure moves are estimate only. It could be over and under. Okay, it really depends on the type of market, right? Um, so let's see if Loom Network gets a rebound from a breakout of this falling wedge pattern here. Let's also take a look into some RSI readings here. Well, I mean, it looks very oversold, uh, and now it's basically resetting, right? So, okay. Let's take a look into some key price levels. Loom does need to break in order to get back up to the upside. I think it's basically on top of all major moving averages. So on the monthly, right? You're on top of 
your monthly, weekly, I'm sure even the three day. So even on top of the dailies. Okay, so let's take a look into some smaller moving averages. Okay. On smaller moving averages, you got your hourly 21 and your hourly 50. Basically, uh, your very short term moving averages there. Okay, you're the blue line and the gray line here at about 35 to 36 cents area. They're going to be coming down pretty quickly. This is on the hourly basis. So it's going to change. It's probably going to change by the time you watch this. Okay, so two hour, 21, 36 cents area. Two hour, 50 SMA, about the 32 cents area. Your three hour, 21 SMA is about that 35 cents area. And let me go ahead and... And your three hour 50 SMA is going to be right underneath the price action right now. So could it, it you know, could it actually get a bounce from this moving average and possibly be the catalyst of a breakout here? So um, something to be paying attention to, the three hour 50 SMA at about 28 cents area coming up. It basically just broke down from the hour, uh, four hour 21 SMA. Um, so if the three hour 50 SMA doesn't hold, let's see if the four hour 50 holds because it's been a while since the price action has actually came down to the four hour 50. Um, that's currently about 25 cents right now, but it's good. It should be coming up pretty quickly. Right. So, um, let's see if this price action bounces off the four hour 50 SMA here because it hasn't bounced off of it for a little while. So it could still be. Uh, good support, okay? Now, if this price action doesn't, I mean, let, let me go ahead and add this. Uh, you guys can go ahead and keep trickling down to the bigger time frames or even the smaller time frames, whatever time frames you guys are interested in uh, to be looking for moving averages as key support and resistances going forward. Obviously, if this price action actually breaks down from this falling watch, pattern which is still very possible okay it's just that it's smaller of a probability then we can come back here and rechart this price action and see what's going on instead so if you guys want to continue seeing more of loom make sure to like subscribe and comment i will bring you guys an update if enough of you guys want to see it okay so that's basically what i'm seeing here so far let's even take a look into the 15 minute time frame and see if i can get any clues on what could be happening if, you know, this um this falling wedge is likely to be playing out, okay? 15-minute time frame. Do we have a falling wedge here? It looks like we have a falling channel there uh, on the 15-minute time frame, which usually breaks to the upside as well. If this breaks to the upside, you take the opening of the pattern here, And then you go ahead and put it on top of a expected or future possible breakout date. Okay. Um, that will give you a measure move if it breaks out around this point uh, later today. Okay. These are 15 minute candles. That will give you a measure move of up to about have a very small measure move of about 31 cents area. Let's see if uh, that would take you to the upper trend line and potentially break that uh, slightly bigger falling wedge pattern there. Okay, so that's basically what I'm seeing here. Now, um, my overall opinion on this crypto market is still overall bullish because Bitcoin has been able to stay away from that double top pattern breakdown I've talked about earlier. Of course, I think this market is going to be looking a lot better if Bitcoin is actually able to close back on top of the daily 200 SMA and then the weekly 200 SMA. And then we could be looking at about 32,000 for a possible breakout there. OK, uh, that's my overall outlook for Bitcoin and basically the uh, uh, most of the crypto markets here because everything follows mostly everything follows Bitcoin. OK. Um, what I'm currently doing is I am leverage trading both ways. Um, currently, so, you know, if Bitcoin has been in this pretty tight range, but let's see if 
um, it could continue here uh, on this bullish trend. Um, so this is what I'm basically doing in this market. Let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys holding, trading? What are you guys holding? What are you guys trading? How has this market been treating you? Thank you very much. And I will see you guys on the next post.